Are you painting on a budget? I'm gonna show you some awesome alternative surfaces and materials that are great for beginners if you're an oil painter out there. And we're getting started right now. Hey, welcome back all you beautiful people for another awesome video. And I'm super excited today to show you some alternatives that you can paint on that's gonna save you money. We all know it's great and awesome to paint on a canvas, but buying canvases over and over, it can really hurt your wallet. Which is why it's important that I share with you my secrets of different alternative surfaces and materials that you can paint on. So let's dive right into it. Let's start off strong and perhaps one of my favorite alternatives is painting on canvas pads or paper. These are great, they come in around 10 to $15 on Amazon or at your local art store. And these give the normal like impression of painting on a canvas as long as you tape it down onto a piece of cardboard or even on a wood piece. If you wanna learn more about that, I've already done a video on that, I'm gonna put it in the top right corner here that you can check out. Next we have up one of my favorite secrets which is where you can paint on MDF board which is medium density fiber board or you can paint even on drywall just like I have here. Now you can pick these up at Home Depot and Lowe's for super cheap and they're always on sale. You can even have one of the employees help cut these into smaller shapes and this will cost you under a dollar for all the different sheets that you can get out of this and it's awesome because it creates beautiful awesome textures all the way across it. Just make sure you gesso your MDF or your drywall before you paint on it, otherwise it'll act like a sponge. Number three is all about if you're adventurous enough to go dumpster diving, you can find some awesome junk wood that people are throwing away. Things like compressed woods or even just like Ikea shelving, these make awesome surfaces for you to paint on. And again, if you own a saw out there or if you know somebody, you can have them just cut them down into smaller shapes and they make awesome painting surfaces that you can practice on. Again, you're gonna wanna get yourself a nice tub of gesso because if you gesso it before, it's gonna stop it from acting like a sponge which is gonna give you a perfect practice surface. And not to mention, when you paint on junk wood, it actually creates a really nice natural natural frame that you can hang just on your walls if you do create an awesome work piece. Perhaps the most underutilized one on this list is canvas rolls. This is the same exact thing as regular canvas that you buy and canvas pads and paper. It just comes in this gigantic roll. Now depending on the size and girth, it's all about girth ladies, is it's going to change the price. The longer you want, the more expensive. The wider you want, the more expensive. Find something that you know lays in between what you're trying to do for your practice material. Or if you wanna make your own custom canvas in the future, maybe you wanna you know, shop ahead and get something bigger and wider just for you. Canvas rolls are perhaps one of my favorite hacks for practicing because you can cut it to any size and shape that you want for practicing in your needs. That way you're good and ready to go to knock it out of the park every time. In this day and age of Amazon one day deliveries, you're throwing away probably your best practice painting material, and that is cardboard, my friends. Taking a nice layer or two of gesso on any cardboard surface, you can just cut off a sleeve or cut off a particular wing of any cardboard box and gesso it up, and it becomes an awesome practicing painting surface. Now, there is a warning when it comes to using cardboard for a painting surface, is a lot of times when it starts to dry, it'll actually start to curl up or curl away and it could crack a little bit. So this is strictly for practicing only. I think we can all agree painting on a canvas is awesome, but sometimes our budget doesn't allow for it. And if you're practicing and you wanna become bigger and better, you need alternatives to practice on so that way you can crush it on your next painting. Now, if you need any more help on how to use gesso properly for any of these surfaces that we talked about, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that's gonna show you the best way to use gesso and you're gonna learn a little more about it. Until next time, all of you beautiful people, stay creative and I will see you all in my next video coming out real soon. Take care and peace.